If you're wanting to use Google Ads conversion goals, but you're kind of confused about how they work or what they even are, then I'm going to help explain what Google Ads conversion goals are, how they're different from actual conversion actions, and how to go about setting them up for your campaigns. So first of all, if you are in your Google Ads account and you click on Tools and Settings, under Measurement, you'll see this option, Conversions. When you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page. So here it says conversions. So this is the conversion summary page. Now, what you're seeing here are called conversion actions. So if you want to add a new conversion action, there's a process for setting that up. You can have conversion actions of online sales, link clicks, page views, signups, app downloads, phone calls, and many more that you can import from Google Analytics and other sources. So the conversion actions themselves are going to help Google understand when somebody converts for a specific action, right? Like this one, lead form submission uh, for, for goal conversions, we've got the conversion value. So that's the conversion action. When somebody submits a lead form and, and it converts, we want to know that. And we want to be able to track that and optimize for that. However, by default, and this just changed recently, but by default, whatever uh, conversion actions you had set up were going to be used for all the campaigns that you were running. There was no way to tell Google, okay, on this specific campaign, I want to use this conversion action, this conversion action, and this conversion action. But as of recently, they rolled out what they're calling conversion goals, which if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see custom goals. If you expand that, these are the conversion goals and what these allow you to do is set specific conversion actions that you want to target for different campaigns so let's say you had one campaign that was generating phone calls another campaign where you were trying to get people into your business you know a local action where they're requesting directions to your facility through Google my business um, you know, you can have a whole bunch of different campaigns with different goals, but they were all sharing data. But now with these custom conversion goals, you can set a specific set of conversion actions for each individual campaign. So you can see that it says that this is set for one campaign. There's three actions. We have calls from ads on LP, first time phone calls, and submit lead form on LP. LP standing for landing page. So as an example, in this account, we're running some ads to the website, which is different than some ads we're running to a landing page, which is technically on the same domain as the website, but they have different conversion goals that we want to target. It's, you know, each, each one has unique actions that we want to convert. So what we were able to do is click add a custom goal. You can enter the name. So I just put quality leads 1.0. <laughs> You can title it whatever you want, uh, you know, example, conversion goal. And then you can come through and choose which conversion actions you would like to use for that custom conversion goal. So let's say we want to do repeat phone calls for this one. Then we can click save. It's going to create this new uh, example conversion goal here. And then Ultimately, we just need to add that to the campaign. So if we navigate over to the campaign, so we click on the campaign and then click on settings. From there, you'll see this second option. It might be in a different location, but the goals option. So you can see it says using campaign specific goal settings. So when we open that up, by default, you're going to use the account goal settings, meaning Whatever uh, conversion actions are set up within this Google Ads account are going to be used for this campaign, whether we like it or not. Now you can use a campaign specific goal. So once you click on that radio, then it'll allow you to select which one you want. And we have this custom one here. It looks like we could use this custom one that we just created as well. So we would just click on that, click save, click save again. And now you've set a custom set of conversion goals for this specific campaign. So now Google's going to go out and it's going to try to get people, depending on the bid strategy you're using, 
it's going to try to get people that convert with these three specific conversion actions for this campaign. And that could be different from the next campaign and the next campaign, etc., etc. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads conversion goals, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you